Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Space 2. We didn't actually make a huge amount of progress over last episode. We did wipe out purple, but as far as like spreading our own stuff, not a huge amount of progress. However, we're very close. Alright, what else do we need to do before we hit end turn here? Uh, we could have... Wow, that's a lot of pirates. Uh, we could have our, our scout here fall back to get the improved probes that we're about to unlock. I think probably with this guy it's not worth uh, it's not worth coming back for. But I do think we'll do that with you. We can update the uh, this, the scout design with better probes and then retrofit. And honestly you probably just come back to Ash. We see a lot of purple ships, but we don't see a lot of purple ships that are actually dangerous. So I think I'm going to try to catch them at Ash to prevent them from uh, going to Mintaka and doing leeching. Uh, and we also have a butcher waiting here. Actually, that's perfectly fine. Well, maybe we should. Yeah, we you know we should have it be more aggressive. Actually, we don't want to use the annihilator to clear pirate bases. Obviously, that thing has other stuff to do. But I think this episode is the first time we're going to get to see our boarding pods at work. And hopefully they will, uh, hopefully they will work quickly. So what just came in? Just three accelerators. Not a big deal. Alright, let's finish this off. Preemptive bombing. I believe this should take the system. Yep, we wore them down. Okay, uh... Does taking the truce with purple actually affect us at all? I'm not convinced that it does. We, we might go ahead and take that truce just to not burn all of the uh, approval. Alright, so let's drop this and go for the Hyperion probe module instead. Carries a little bit, uh, carries an extra probe. Not Totally amazing. Right, is that all it is? Okay, it carries extra probes, and it replenishes faster, and they have better vision. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and I guess let's let's do a little bit of fishing. Maybe there are some places for us to find over here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna accept this. I don't see any more purple systems, and honestly, we don't have to wipe purple out. We just have to take their home system, which we're currently doing. I guess you know what our probe could be doing. Our probe could be coming up here and exploring this way. We could be seeing what's up with the uh, with this this player instead of worrying about the Lumeris even more than we already are. We should probably swing by here and, uh, and actually explore these curiosities. These could be valuable resources. Right, and over here on FOD we have finished a butcher. Okay, I don't think we need to send this uh, down there. I think moving it to the Lumeris slash Riftborn front makes sense. Alright, what else do we need to build on FOD? We should probably put exotic, ra or exotic rations together in more places. We're still kind of having manpower problems. They're not severe, but they're annoying. Actually, let's build the food building first. Well, we do see a system. I could jump out to that. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead. It'll take us a while to get there, and there's a pretty good chance that we'll just get attacked and destroyed when we hit, but if we are not attacked and destroyed immediately when we hit, uh, that's going to give us a good uh, a good window into their, uh, into their civilization. 
They might not have any ships in place, right? Let's go ahead and catch up the uh, scavenger designs. I know that it's not super combat important, but probes. We gotta figure out where blue and yellow's homeworlds are, right? So there's a blue world up here somewhere. Don't know that we benefit from shooting a lot of other probes. These guys are just going to run away. It doesn't really matter how we set up. And we pursue. In, in fact, we're going to get there first. Thing is, we don't even really need Orion. Alright, so we have here a high energy plasma sphere. Alright, some decent defenses, I guess. This system is built kind of strangely. Like, let's move everybody off of Cran 2 to fill up Cran 1 for the extra industry, and let's try to uh, try to build this place up a little bit. So this is a fair amount of food. Uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of basic buildings that, once again, they just don't have. Uh, we don't really have great worlds for AI labor. Oh, uh, we should probably try to fix the approval issue. As quickly as we can, obviously. The fact that we don't legitimately own the system is going to be a big problem. Looks like blue and yellow are at war, which probably bodes well for us. It'll make it hard for blue to resist us. But man, we've really got to get our approval up. Or our approval, our influence. I, would, I need to keep these laws active, and that means I need a lot more influence than I currently have. I guess we could cut spoils of war. For the moment, at least. Uh, by the way, the Spoils of War Act does have a reduction in um, dust upkeep cost for all of your stuff as well. So it's not, it's not just the battle payout, it will appear to passively generate dust for you as well. And the more army you have, the truer that will be. It's a good law, we just can't really afford to run it at the moment. Alright, so we've got some new tech. And some new weapons tech. And we actually have plenty of strategics to use with it. Alright, get captured. Uh, speaking of getting captured, I'm going to separate the Annihilator out and have it attack them solo. Let's see if we can actually take over a couple of these ships. So they're all missiles. We only have one gun on the ship, but it is a very large gun, so it's still possible we'll destroy these things before... Uh, before the boarding pods can do their job, it's going to depend partially on how manned these ships are, which I really... I have no idea. God, look at the scale difference. Hold on, let's zoom down by this thing. I went too far. The camera controls are a little finicky. Here we go. It's tough. This is going to be tough for them. So here come the boarding pods. It looks like they are not full on manpower, actually. Unfortunately, the boarding pods have chosen to start with the most heavily manned ship. Do we have another wave of them coming in? There's a pretty long reload time on those. This one might also just get blown up. Okay, here comes the second wave. Okay. Well, that's a couple of free scouts for us. And merge these back up. We're going to find something out over here. We're going to discover something. Uh, we also... With this fleet having basically no points of movement left and wanting to sit in place anyway, this is probably a pretty good time for us to drop some more probes. Let's see, what's down here? 
Man, I have a lot of probes. Make sure we don't miss whatever's over this way. Do I still... Seriously? <laughs> I still have three probes left. Boy, this fleet has too many scout ships in it. Okay, the Vodyani have been folded into that alliance. That does not... Uh, not really affect us at all, I don't think. Yeah, it seems like all they've got left is leeches. Nope, never mind. Here's a thing that's not a leech. I think this I think this war is over though. What you're seeing right now from them is wishful thinking. Alright. Uh I think we should go and grab impactless sites because we're a little low on heroes. Probably owing uh to the fact that the um the academy was discovered really late. So getting access to the hero section of the marketplace is probably valuable. And then, we should probably go up to the final tier of the war part of the tree, right? Let's see. Structured antimatter gives access to a big energy damage booster. We don't really need big damage boosters. What we need is for our boarding pods to be more effective. And there's not really a great way of doing that. Um, the boarding pod damage is based on the amount of damage that your infantry deals. So actually, we can uh, cap this stuff out. I believe that's correct. Uh, so we can cap this stuff out to improve our boarding pod efficiency, which means I'm going to have to stop spending titanium. Uh, so what do we want after impactless sites? I guess we could pick up um, ultra-tough materials. That gives 30% troop damage. And then also, we actually do have sources of these, of these uh, high-tier strategics we probably should use that you know what give me the ability to make trade companies as well we can improve our luxury resource income with some trade companies uh it'll take a while to kick in so i probably should have started a long time ago but we have to deal with the decisions we we have to plan for the decisions that we actually made rather than the ones we wish we had made how are we doing on approval okay it looks like we don't really need to wait on Transvine for our system development, so do I want to maybe do, like, Giga Lattice and Deciduous Trees again? Like, I know that it costs a lot of these to level the system up now, but we have 11 per turn coming in, and I really do want to start deploying the Giga Lattice. So where is... Uh, 26 is our highest population system, probably? Right, let's get that going. And that actually will be enough... Uh, that alone will be enough influence to keep this law running full-time. Oh, hey, somebody reminded me I'm not looking at the legendary deeds, and I should definitely be doing that. Okay, build this thing to make your trade more effect your uh, your trade value systems go up. Be the first to reach fifteen of both of the high level strategics to get impregnable shielding. That's a uh, fifteen income. Big health bonus, big shield capacity, big projectile defense, or a little bit of projectile defense and big energy defense. That's a pretty powerful uh, module, actually. I am ranked two of nine at zero and zero, so probably we can we can get this, you know, once we pick up the mining tax. What else do we have available? Okay, that's it. That's all the that's all the ones that haven't been done yet. Except for the ones that, you know, haven't been revealed yet. Revealing this might be uh wise for us. Pick it up a couple of things off of this tier. But I do want to get all of this stuff. Because there's a good chance that we've already completed uh, the final tier military one. Unless it's uh, unless it's the one to destroy planets. I know there is at least one of those things that is uh, that asks you to crack several planets. Which is a thing that you know, you're never going to do. Okay, that's annoying. We just lost a war. Ratio's nervous, as he should be. 
Uh, we don't need to watch this go down. Alright, we have to play a little bit more whack-a-mole with the Vagyani, but I'm confident that we're just about done with them. Wow, 50 whole dust, huh? Two curiosities. A combined total of 50 dust. Let's see, we need 85 dark glitter. We currently have 24, so we definitely have money. And there's lots available. Yeah, we need to keep this bonus rolling forever. Maybe that will help you. Obviously, I will not be removing my fleets from your territory. All territory is my territory. Based on your demand, it seems that you're just like a little confused, which I get. It's a complicated idea. All right. This looks like it'll be a proper battle, provided they don't just run away. Maybe that will help you. There's a pretty good chance they just run away, huh? So yeah, we definitely want to run the Annihilator middle up close. Maximize the amount that a, of uh, enemy fire that it draws. And I would love to watch this if they'll actually engage with us. Okay. They're allowed to run away to a, to a place that I control. Because it is within their, uh, it's within their sphere of influence. I, uh, I declared attack here, probably a little early. Am I still at war with Blue Maris? I think I am, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's resolve this. Now, to be fair, my Butcher is terrifying. And I just want to be at long range, right? So this is going to be a, a pretty fair fight. My missiles versus their missiles. The combat strength, the incredibly abstract combat strength indicator, sure does indicate that our missiles are a lot better than theirs. I guess we'll see. Boy, they, <laughs> they have a lot, don't they? Okay, they pierced the shields. Yeah, we're going to lose this. But we're going to take out at least one of their ships on the way out. Actually, after this volley, their, um, their number of missiles will probably be cut down pretty significantly. Hold on, let's, let's get down here on our ship. Now, maybe we're not going to lose this. See, the problem with these swarm missiles that they're using uh, is that they really just do a lot less damage than normal missiles. They're much better against projectile defenses. But if you get, if you get caught just trading blows, uh, you're going to lose. Okay, so here we have a ton of tiny little garbage ships. I'm going to put the Annihilator in against them by itself, I think. What is this? This is that, like, random gouge that we found somewhere. You can get out of here. Let's go Annihilator versus all of these ships. Uh, we probably will win this, I think. I'm showing us having 13,000 offense. Yeah. If they actually fight, we'll take over a ton of their stuff. There's a real good chance they just run, though. So let's see, they would love to be at short range, so let's play back as much as we can. No, they're just going to run. Uh, fair enough. It's kind of annoying that that's a fleeing path that is available to them, but we can, uh... We cannot easily make a good ship to intercept them. Because we don't have titanium, and we don't have manpower. Well, we can probably buy some titanium. Wow. Uh, I only need three, but that's, that's an ugly situation. Okay, yeah, this butcher will intercept. So we really need to improve our mining rate on 
titanium bearing systems. Really need to improve our mining rate. Uh, and you know, once we have the Quadranix mining, we're going to want these things to be available to us as well. We'll just scout around with these. I think I'm going to have the Annihilator break ranks. Take advantage of its very, very large engines and catch these guys when they hit Cran. We might be able to get some conversions out of them. So, my guess is that... Uh, Lumeris, or rather, uh, Sofan Homeworld is around here somewhere. I have no idea where the UE might have started. This this all could be expansion. You notice the populations are, are relatively low, so... Okay, Ducey. Ducey is pretty happy. It does have a sterile world, and it's a pretty large sterile world, but I guess for the purpose of production... We really want people to be over here, right? So that being the case, AI labor is not going to be broadly useful, at least not for a while. We need to make sure that we are working on museums everywhere because we really, really could use more influence. It would be great if we could get to the point where we can run this approval law and the spoils of war law. Right here, we definitely have to pick that up. This is not a great amount of food. Well, let's let those things finish and we'll figure it out from there. So yeah, we're going to be progressing a lot more quickly from now on. Uh, mostly in terms of game time, not so much in terms of real-time minutes. Our turns are going to continue to get more complicated here. Okay, we've discovered the Lumeris homeworld. Where's that? Excellent. And over here, a green influence circle. Yeah, the Lumiers have ships, but they don't have good ships, it seems like. Alright, so we have commercial frameworks. We also have access to the heroes part of the marketplace. And what have we here? We have a Nashast Seeker. And is this a Valter? Probably a Valter Seeker. No, this is a, sc a Scavenger, so it's a minor faction race that just looks human. Maybe Pilgrim? Something. In any case, I don't really love Seekers, uh, as I think I've discussed before, but also I don't love having zero governors. So, you're hired, and you're hired next turn. This is garbage. That's not bad, but we really we don't need more fleet commanders, so we're going to... Focus on science output, which means this guy could really go anywhere. Obviously, uh, optimal operations expert will be best in places where there's already a lot of population. Especially places where there's a significant amount of population, but also room to grow under the cap. Okay, we'll do this on Ash, and we'll... Uh... We'll send some population from Aine over after we build the spaceport. This is almost done. Okay. Ruins, ruins, life form, and ruins. Okay. No subterraneans, unfortunately, which means probably no high tier strategics. Also, a lot of these rewards are going to be kind of crummy, like that. All right, you're just here to catch pirates coming in. Uh, the Butcher. Here's a question. Do I want to send this Annihilator over to fight pirates? I know I said that that is not what I was going to do, but... 
It actually gets it closer to the Lumeris homeworld. Yeah, you know what? Let's party the two of you up. And you are pirate hunting. Okay, so this... This is the fleet that retreated last turn. It has chosen not to move. You can see he's starting to move his ships now. He's waiting for me to make moves that, that make his moves safer. So... What he's going to try to do, probably, is wait until after I hit end turn, then he's going to have this fleet move, so that it will hit here, stop, and then at the beginning of the next turn, immediately be movable again. So you got to watch out for this, uh, this tomfoolery over here, this trickery that he's going to pull on us. Is there anything else that needs doing right this second? No. Okay. We are focused in over here. We're just going to mash this button before he can move out on this turn. This is kind of a dirty trick for the AI to pull, given that a, you know, a player would not be able to uh, execute that fast enough. Oh, I attacked with the wrong fleet. Well, I'm going to retreat with this guy. Not that I don't think he'd win, but I don't want him to win. I want this to go with the Annihilator. Unfortunately, this is going to require some fast hands, because uh, they're probably going to leave the system immediately after I retreat. What do you mean there's no escape route available? Hold on. Stop popping stuff up. Uh, hold on a second. We're just going to pop over to options. Notifications. Are there things that are set to auto pop up still? I thought I turned everything off. Everything is, in fact, off. There are just some notifications that can't be, uh... Can't be ignored. What do you want? Okay, so a lot of people are banding together into an alliance against me, which is to be expected. Yes, let's have everybody finish moving. We have some ships over here. Okay, they're not quite in position yet. You know, what, let's figure. Let's find out what this life form is first. It turns out it was five XP. It's a type of life form. We discovered the planet Kairos way over here. Uh, I'm sure we have no chance of survival here. All of my ships have less than 60% health. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that sucks. Alright, go ahead and go down swinging, guys. As far as I'm aware, pirate ships don't ever repair. Apparently we won that? Wow, we won that without even actually taking any damage. Huh. Weird. So... I'm gonna have these guys go this way. We're gonna try our best to find that United Empire homeworld. Alright, let's resolve this thing. So I guess I'm not... I guess we'll just... We'll do this and see if they all die? I don't think they're going to. These number, This estimation can't be right. But I am curious enough to actually watch it. I mean, I know their ships aren't really outfitted for war. Not for fighting us, anyway. But there's no way the numbers involved should make the... Should make the estimation we're getting here impossible. We should probably kill a couple of things. Yeah, like that first volley's gonna kill a small ship easily. Uh, yeah, we're never actually going to get to fire at this flotilla. Oh, I guess, I guess we have a firing arc on them right now. That's crazy. As we turn away, though, we're gonna lose it. So we're gonna probably be able to finish off this flotilla. But I think we're going to lose the ability to shoot these guys pretty soon. Although again, I would have thought that we would have lost it by now, the way things are angled, so maybe I don't really understand how firing arcs work. Man, they are dealing no damage. Their weapon systems are so weak. A lot of our missiles are missing, though. Is this actually how this is going to end? Okay, here we go. They did manage to get my ship eventually. What a slow, sad battle that was. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted. 
So medium, medium. And that guy wants to be long. So actually, I want, I want to go real short on them. They are all using energy weapons. The whole planning absorption isn't really that helpful. Really, they ran. That's crazy, because that kills almost all of them. <laughs> all right, well. I think I... I think it's worth it to be patient here. We'll just wait on these guys and uh, attack them next turn with the correct fleet this time. Because we can definitely take that ship over. Okay, we need to do a lot of things. Honestly, like we need titanium so badly that I think this is a pretty reasonable thing to do. We do need... Ah, we do need industry really badly. Uh, you know what? I could rush this. Oh, I was going to buy that other hero. Well, we can probably still do it. I actually do have a lot of stuff to sell. Let's see. She's at 2.7k. Problem solved. <laughs> All right, what's her deal? As a scavenger, she produces influence and food. And that's really it. Well, oh, that's not bad. There are actually a number of systems where that would be useful. And she gives plus 5% industry. So we really want, we want her on a system where there's a functional population that needs to become more functional. And honestly, Cran might be it. I don't know that Bonnie really needs more industry. Yeah, there's stuff here to build, so she'll get um, she'll get levels quickly. I think this is a reasonable thing to do. These are it. These really good buildings are it. Uh, 18k. We can make that happen. We can make 18k happen. All right, predictive logistics. This is going to be huge here. We should probably move pretty much everybody over to Cran 2 now to take advantage of the uh, the extra industry we're going to get from the titanium deposit. Place is miserable, but I mean, what are you going to do? They don't like all of the conquer. I have they starved out my outpost on Mintaka before my ship could actually get there. That's annoying. Annoying, but easy to solve. Oh, yeah, this fleet has lots of points inside of its command point limits. So let's get over there. And oh my god, all of our worlds are finishing everything. So hold on, we gotta figure out what we want to do with this trade company. As far as I'm aware, trade company ships will not jump constellations. So we probably want to put down the trade company headquarters on one of these two worlds. Honestly, probably, preferably Galter. And then the other half of it can be on, like, Duce. How long does it take to build this thing on Galter? Eh, that's not too bad. Alright, we probably want to move some people over to the non-depleted world over here. Although I guess I'm a little nervous about totally crashing our approval level. Well, here's some stuff we can build that'll definitely be helpful. I don't know that we want to really pour on more ships. I guess we could chain gang here a little bit. Our food output is such that we would replace the losses pretty quickly. So let's move a bunch of people over. Uh, you would prefer to be on a fertile world. You would prefer to be on a sterile world. Okay, we're actually starting to mess with our approval levels now, so we should probably back off on that. I think there's a... There's a... Um, we get the approval for home systems for just having an outpost. Not, it doesn't even have to be a colony. 
So we lost the approval we were getting from Mintaka, which we can fix. Soon enough. Okay, this is starting to become relevant here as we get population expanding onto the final planet in the system. And... These are both pretty strong here. And honestly, I'm going to swap a bunch of these science worlds over to Edenization. Just have a look around and try to catch all those places. Because honestly, we don't really need that much science anymore. Let's just pop through our empire real quickly here. I guess this is a better way to do this. Okay, you two. Okay, we're we're working on it here. Okay, looks like it's actually not easy to affect the planetary specialization. Here we go. Let's throw that on the end of that queue. Oh, right, the Edenization of that planet is already in that queue. Uh, Ingress. Actually, take me to Ingress. All right, we're pushing right up against our approval limit over here. We don't need uh, more science badly enough to trade... Uh, influence out for it, but of course, you never do like totally run out of the need for science. We got all of our mining tech here. We can keep building exotic rations everywhere. Hopefully, at some point, we're gonna uh, we can trade both of these. At some point, we're gonna have a manpower level, a manpower income level that can actually keep our ships full. Unfortunately, all the boarding pods, you know, they do make that difficult. Okay, this is the thing we want to pay attention to the most uh, right now. I'd really love to catch this ship. I guess we do have that, uh, that Lumeris ship to worry about as well. Let's lock this in. Over here, lock that in. Okay, a quest completed. What was it? Oh, this thing. We were given chameleon spaces. Honestly, a pretty good tech to get for free. Um, Slag and Sludge Center, in particular, is a good thing to have. Where is the planet that's producing our Giga Lattice? Let's go... Slag and Sludge Center. Produce additional resources. Okay, we've also got another level of this quest. I mean, this doesn't matter. But bombers are better than fighters. Just in a general sense. And that would not be a hard outpost to set up. I do not actually care about the reward from that quest, but it would not be a hard one to set up. No, thank you. Oh, hey, look at that. We're influence positive. Okay, so these guys are just going to run. This guy, I suppose. The level of cowardice one can hardly imagine. And we're going to stay put right here. Until we can get this established. Now, let's see, we're coming in on the jungle world, right? Because I want to have the production capability and also a reasonable amount of food here. Yep, once again, we're just Really just waiting for a population ship to come in from Aine, and we are going to sit right here while we wait. This butcher can hunt that, uh, that escaping ship down. Okay, another source of NP artifacts, which are pretty alright. I think maybe unnecessary for us at this point. Uh, plus movement on fleet. Yeah, I think I think that's worth taking. That is a pretty good skill. 
And you probably for the moment just focus on Optimal Operations Expert because it's even better for the Cravers than it is for everybody else. And it's pretty good for everybody else. Now let's drop three units of population off on... Oh dear, Ash. Ash is the one. <laughs> say, oh dear, I've forgotten which system it was already. All right, the Battle at Orion here. Uh, he might run. If he's smart, he'll run just to avoid us taking his ship over. He failed to think of that option. All right, it's annoying that we have to restart that. Uh, let's see. We don't need food here. We somehow never put together Cerebral Reality. Uh, we're all ecstatic because we're all cravers, so we don't have any of that... Uh, any of that harsh population unpleasantness. Definitely improve the rate of mining of the titanium. Keep pumping out manpower. The system is uh, is going through builds remarkably quickly. Ash was supposed to be the high production shipyard, but uh, doesn't seem to have been necessary really. Alright, as much as I want to keep exploring these, actually this ship should probably get on the business of figuring out where the uh, Lumeris homeworld is. Or not Lumeris, Riftborn rather. Alright, we need another big huge ship over here. I think everybody's doing important stuff, though. I guess... Alright. Ingress can can be blockaded for the moment. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, we probably want to merge these up. We can just turn their ring around. Have it go clear this out. That seems fine. This is why we got all the boarding pods, so that we can start using their ships against them. Alright, so is everybody building stuff? Yeah, everybody's doing things... Uh, we're getting pretty tight on the wind timer. Like, I'm just a little, I'm a little nervous at how much work we have left to do. But we certainly have the tools with which to do it. Still not a good read on uh, the actual location of the Sofun homeworld. So we're gonna. Let me get a little bit more aggressive with our scouting here. And deploy these scavengers and map this uh, map this end of the constellation real fast. And how much do I even really want Orion? Am I just getting it because it was nearby? The Empire will. Do you think it's more annoying to him that we keep picking, we keep answering his call and then hanging up on him than it would be if we just didn't answer the call? Because that's what I'm going for. What I'm going for is maximum upset. I want him to really feel like I'm just a horrible piece of crap. I want to know if that's getting through. Uh, honestly, Industrial Zones isn't even that good here. I'm not that worried about leveling the system up. Not this system. Given that the odds of us sending population out are basically zero. But also, none of the other stuff we can build here is really, like, terribly important. I guess this would be good. Uh, we should take over Esh 2 and get a hold of these. So they're attacking our terrible accelerators. Uh, there's no chance of survival here. Our ships will be destroyed. Look, we didn't fire on you. Take that into your... Take that under consideration. Alright, we really, really need the food ship from Aine to arrive at Mintaka already. Where is it? This is the population we sent out. I guess maybe the first ship won't be sent out until next turn. So I don't know where that Vodiani ship went. I mean, I guess we don't have to find them. It doesn't really matter. 
as long as we get the colony on Mintaka uh, settled, this fleet is going to end up going into Riftborn space, and probably it will be sufficient to actually take it down, I think. It seems like none of the AI have really put any effort into building, um, into building ships. They're just kind of like not prepared for combat, which is crazy to me. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I probably want to save Denark University for Bonnie, where it will be the most effective. Let's go ahead and put that on the docket. All right, so is any of this stuff important? No, we're good on that. Researching crust engineering as quickly as we can. We don't actually have the world that the Orichalcix is on, so we should probably solve that issue. And, like, for real, do I want Orion? Or am I just taking this... I mean, it's not a... It's not in a bad place. Not an irrelevant place. Tundra. Ice with tunneled slipgates. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, honestly, this isn't even really a good system. I think this fleet's just going to strike out into into UE space. Oh, that's right. They closed their borders. So if I strike out into... In order to strike out into UE space, I have to declare war on them. How are we doing on approval? We don't really need the war, but... Maybe we should still declare it. My concern is that the UE actually do have ships running around all over the place, and that makes me a little nervous. I kind of wonder if this battleship butcher combination is sufficient uh, to take over Lysol, because it kind of seems like it might be. They really don't have a lot going. You know what? Let's go for it. We'll worry about the pirates some other time. We need to get back to ship construction. So I guess, actually, I'm going to... Denark University would be really powerful here. But I'm going to cancel this. We just need... We need to make ships. So I have... I have four turns to figure out how I'm going to get all this uh, population. All this... Uh, not population, rather, but um, manpower. Or actually, it would, be, it would be better to get it even faster. Well, over on Aine, we have basically infinite population. Uh, Fod is doing quite well as well. Let's chain gang here. I guess Aine does have some stuff that's worth building, but honestly, chain gang before uh, any of that science stuff is probably a good idea. I do want to let Expanded Mines finish because we're really, like, we're tight on titanium all the time and we need a ton of it. Okay, there's the food ship. So as soon as this food ship hits Mintaka, this whole fleet can uh, can start moving in on the Riftborn. Alright, she's getting stuff built. Can't argue with the efficacy. Uh, so it looks like they're not actually going to attack us. We're just going to go. They're following us, though. Me this? Okay. So what have we? A ton of ships, but a ton of small bad ships. I think our Annihilator is actually going to be able to defeat their entire navy. Uh, I am not interested in a truce at this time. Thank you. We appreciate you uh, contacting us, but also get out of here. Alright, so... Really need to make another one of these. I don't think we want to... Uh, I don't think we want to do... It's not even on the menu. I don't think we want to do Chain Gang Program here. So probably just increase food output. You're definitely refusing that truce. Uh, here, we can't retreat, right? I guess we don't know that for sure. Either one of these could be a legal retreat path. 
Nope. Turns out they are not. Alright, well, we have failed to find... Oh! Here's that ship. It's coming right to us. Let's just fold you in here. Yeah, this is a pretty alright fleet. As we don't really need to pay for repairs. We're getting repairs because this is technically our system. So I don't know that we want to send these guys up here. We may need to be uh, on defense against stuff coming in from Rotenev. Probably two butchers is sufficient for that because really we have not seen anything from the Lumeris Navy that makes me think they're capable of fighting us like at all. It's actually kind of sad how bad they are at combat. I guess they're trying to win the game in a very different way. Alright, does anybody else need construction orders? No, we're all good. Just gotta wait for all that manpower to come rolling in. So I want to have some more defensive ships in place before we uh, before we formally declare on the United Empire. Got some stuff coming. Who are these guys? I have no idea. Well, let's kill them. One of my mediums against one of theirs, plus also they get a whole bunch of other ships. No meaningful damage done. Yeah, these uh, these butchers are terrifying. Really nothing in the galaxy quite seems to be able to stand up to them. Alright, so let's divert one of the scouts this way. The other one should definitely try to head through there. I think we're going to get away in time. Uh, so I'm going to chain gang program again. And with that, we should be able to start construction on an annihilator on this system next turn. So for one turn, yeah, sure. Build predictive logistics. That's <laughs> That seems fine. Yes, we still don't know where their actual home system is. If it turns out not to be over here, then I guess it must be down here somewhere? But I'd be very surprised. I suppose it could be the case that they actually lost it to the United Empire already. Those two have been at war, at least since I started paying attention to their diplomatic status. I don't know, this, um, this thing I'm doing over here, <laughs> with the single Butcher and single Annihilator, against the Lumeris capital. This might be too ambitious, but the Lumeris navy seems really weak, and I think we should take advantage of that. All right, so our scout ships made it through any potential blockade that could have arisen. I'm actually gonna head this way, I think. So we have that ship in place. Oh, here come all of those uh, <clears throat> those Lumeris ships that fled from us earlier. All right, three turns to an Annihilator. Man, that system is really, really good at its job. Oh, what am I doing? He should definitely be taking Optimal Operations Expert before science. Getting all distracted over here somehow. Okay, uh, probably Chain Gang. I think we're going to want to continue to produce a lot of manpower. Especially in these systems where we can afford to. Food rate is high enough. Once Bonnie finishes the predictive logistics here... We might... Yeah, I think we should have enough... Um, enough manpower to start building another Annihilator over there. Yeah, you know what? Let's not worry about the United Empire just yet. We should run this fleet back over here 
was kind of hoping to find the Lumaris homeworld before making that decision. This influence bubble is sort of indicative of this being that home system, though. It's awfully large. Do I want to quickly turn Orion before we leave? The thing is, I kind of don't actually want it. It's sort of not actually a good... Why did, why did my law end? Yeah, it's sort of not actually a good system, so maybe I don't care about this. It'll produce Jadonix for us, and Blue Cap Mold, and Hyperium, none of which are things we actually need. Yeah, I think that owning Orion might be a net negative for us. Uh, where are we at? Are we, like, way past 100 on a lot of this stuff? Yeah, actually, a lot of our systems are, are considerably past 100, so there might be no real penalty to taking Orion. Even so, we will end up with a bunch more systems than we currently have, and I don't want to—I don't want to be weighed down by this thing. And this uh, this Lumaris fleet that we chased off with the eleven ships. Uh, they managed to heal themselves from the repairs entirely without ever actually hitting a, a system or anything. They, like, they went to that system on the other end of that star lane and then came back immediately. And apparently that was all it took. Okay, so our ring is now under attack. Still not interested in the truce. Oh, just random pirates. What kind of ship is this? It is a medium range ship. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, these guys want to be at short range, so I think they'll they'll probably pick a medium or short range tactic, so revive and rebuild will have us move into optimal range. Uh no meaningful damage, cool. That's a real fleet. And we are just a tiny bit short of the manpower we need. That sucks. Okay, on Duce, we want to start building the trade company subsidiary. On Bonnie, maybe we just build a bunch of butchers? Or a bunch of these things. One of these things, maybe. Ah, this is not a manpower problem. No, it is a manpower problem. But it's also a titanium problem. Holy crap, the titanium. Uh, is there any more on the market than there was earlier? No. We are one titanium on the market short of being able to even purchase the materials for another ship. And it's certainly not the case that anybody's going to trade with us. Well, let's let this finish. We'll put up some new orders later. We don't need to queue up multiple ships at a time. Alright, that is in fact the influence bubble of a home system. So we're probably going to get run out of there, unfortunately. Actually, we should probably just run out of there ourselves, right? Meet back up with the uh, the rest of the fleet. So we don't we don't have to fight any more of the uh, Sofans, and honestly, I don't know that it's uh, it's a good idea to. I think we're kind of busy. Uh, I totally forgot about our faction quest. We should, we should probably do this. Give me, uh, give me one of them scout ships, would you? Wait, that planet has no specialization. That's not okay. Alright, over here we should probably get the ability to colonize this world. And here, our food output is such that we could... We could probably chain gang a couple times safely. We really do need a lot of manpower. And look at that, they've re-established. Somehow they did have an arc left. I'm not sure how. But uh, this should be easy enough to deal with.
Yeah, I, don't, I really don't want them having a system. I don't think that that's beneficial to us at all. Food ship will arrive next turn. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this food is carry or this ship is carrying two hundred and twenty-five food. How much food has been generated? Can I see that? Looks like I cannot for some reason. Does seem like uh, important information, doesn't it? Alright, so we've arrived here. Let's try to find their capital as quickly as possible. It probably will not be too hard to grab it. Uh, that said, we haven't seen any of their navy yet, so maybe they're... Maybe they're rolling an actual functional... Navy, it's not impossible. We've seen the UE do it a little bit. We'll attack them next turn when we have a when we have a, an action point again. I don't think we really have to worry about anything going on over here. This annihilator will make short work of this entire fleet. These guys can chase those guys around, maybe. And we're very close to hitting the Lumaris homeworld. Let's do one more turn here. Just because I do want to, uh, well, maybe not one more turn. Let's finish off Pri Let's finish off the Vodyani. So they just made another arc. They're going to immediately attack. They are going to retreat with both of their ships, and then we are going to pursue. I seriously have no idea where this arc came from. Uh, they just evaporated. Oh, they stayed and fought us. Huh. That's a curious decision. Why would they stay and fight? Now that's just suicide. Okay. All of the universe's pirates are coming to Duce because they're actually trying to go to Varen, but I'm in the way, so we should probably just step out of the way. Those guys fled already. We could go and steal some of these pirate ships. Oh, we wouldn't get there in time. Still, there's way too much, way too much, and uh, stuff going on around Duce. It's making me a little nervous. So if we wait one more turn, we will be able to start building a uh, an annihilator over here. What could I do for one more turn? We're happy, but we're not as happy as we could be. Probably exotic rations is the right play, though. Horatio, doubt your motives and your Horatio has an awful lot of stuff to say to us, considering that we basically have had no real contact, right? Uh, I still haven't built intensive cultivation anywhere, and honestly, this is not a bad place for it. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, go ahead and do that. Uh, we also... I, I want to avoid draining our manpower because I really do want to... Here, we're going to queue up chain gang program afterward. I really do want to um, make sure that we can build some more annihilators. Alright, you get on that. Various ships, just keep moving. Alright, Krenz Ludus is well on his way. Uh, we can actually probably just wait here. The ship went right through instead of stopping to defend. I can't believe those arcs didn't run. That just, that seems crazy to me. Alright, a pirate mark was placed on Ingress. I, I don't know that any pirate mark could possibly matter less than one on the world where we produce uh, annihilators in three turns. It seems like that system has its stuff under control. 
Uh, we may as well Edenize everything here, and then this population is spread out all over the place. We probably want to continue working this world. And actually, I'm going to move the Craver over here. Really get some good industry out of the system this way. All right, so we have all the mining improvements. We're getting this titanium as quickly as we can get it. We could use some of this. Are we... Yes, we do still have our good laws running. Spoils of War Act would still be a pretty big penalty. We could afford to run that, but uh, since I haven't bothered to finish our faction quest yet, we do need to have some influence uh, banked, just in case somebody tries a force truce. At the rate that we're outputting influence... Um, it probably doesn't matter, like, we don't really get a lot out of being able to avoid Force Truces, because we're, we're just going to be able to pay them off anyway. Alright, over here on Aine... We're pumping out population very quickly. Not sure what else we really need here. Just go ahead and build some of these... Once per empire buildings. Hey, this should really go in a place where the population's higher. Population on INA is good, but it's not as good as uh, the Valter homeworld. Well, you know, continuing to generate food here is still valuable because it is um, it is going into the manpower pool. So even though we're already uh, pretty easily population capping there, we should probably still keep generating food. Okay, so that ship arrived, right? Okay, colony in three turns. It wasn't quite enough food. That said, we did destroy all of the purple ships up here. I think we're probably... Okay, to head up to Trime, and then hopefully one of these, uh... One of these probes will reveal the Riftborn home system to us. Because honestly, we might not be that far away from getting this done. I think we're... we're almost good for the turn. Uh, you know what? Chain Gang Program. Just keep doing it. Okay, so let's take a... Let's qu quickly here take stock of where we're at. We don't know where Yellow's homeworld is. We still haven't even met the Unfallen. I have no idea where they are. Your home your home system is ours. Your home system is close to ours. Same, tr same is true here. We know where we're going, at least with you. We've seen... A Horatio influence bubble, and we have a pretty good idea of where the UE home system must be. So actually, we're probably not that far from getting this done. Like, we're hitting turn 100. I don't know that we'll have it done by that arbitrary deadline I like to set of turn 120, but we're probably not that far off. So that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time. I have a good feeling that we're going to be able to check a couple of these off, and we'll see you then.